All right, UMAC fans, we are back with another uh, senior student athlete interview coming to us from Wisconsin uh, via our Zoom setup here. We have a senior softball student athlete from Martin Luther College, Becca Dering. Uh, she is a physical education major, and so we're excited to talk to her about um, her experiences uh, as a night student athlete and um, share with us some things about what she's doing now. So Becca, let's uh, start there. Um, talk about how online learning is going and how um, Martin Luther is working to support student athletes uh, as you all kind of transition to this new uh, learning experience. Well, um, it's definitely a transition. That's a good word for it. It's a lot different than being in a classroom. As someone who is an education major, I know how important technology is in a classroom, but I also know how important it is to actually be in a classroom so it's definitely been an adjustment i am very much a hands-on learner i like being around people so it's definitely been an adjustment but my professors have been so incredibly helpful and the whole administration has just been so helpful in making sure that we are supported in any way that we need and if we need any help they're getting it to us the best that they can so it's been it's been hard but it's been great to have the support of you know, my family and the school and everything like that, my team too. So we're all working together to try and do the best we can. Yeah, you mentioned your team. So how have you all kind of been staying in touch during this time? Have you been doing workouts together? I know some people have been doing that. So what are what's your softball team been doing since you all kind of finished your finished your season? <laughs> So we haven't really been doing workouts together. Um, our coaches are also professors, so they've been kind of focused on, well, one of our coaches is also a professor, our head coach. So he's been kind of focused on trying to figure out how to teach his class. But as a team, we have a group chat and we talk pretty much every day, whether it's just, hey, I did this today and I thought that was really awesome, or hey, here's something positive that happened today. Um, a lot of goofy videos of us doing crazy <laughs> things. Um, and different things like that. So I just, I miss them a lot. It's, it's weird when you go from hanging out with the same group of people every day for like months yeah. and even outside of softball hanging out too, to not seeing those people. So it's, I miss them a lot, but it's been nice to be able to have the technology to stay in touch with them. Sure. Um, I think that we've seen a lot of creative ways of different athletes staying in touch and lots of interesting videos. So you're definitely not alone in <laughs> that um, experience. So maybe tell us a little bit about your softball team, your program, maybe what your culture is like and what you've appreciated about being a part of the Martin Luther softball program um, during your time there. Um, I think our softball team is super unique as a team that has everyone that kind of has the same major because MLC only offers education and pastoral training um, and pastor track is only for the boys. So all of the girls on our softball team are some sort of education major. Now we have people in pretty much every range from early childhood to physics to chemistry, like all of the different things. So it's really become just a very supportive environment, as well as the fact, so like I'm from Wisconsin and a lot of our girls are from really far away. We have one of our freshmen is from California. So a lot of us aren't very close to home. So when you spend that much time with that many people and you're, you're far away from home and you know, with sports, you have to miss breaks sometimes and you don't always get to go home and see your family on the weekend and things like that. It's just really become a family and it's just, Unlike any team that I've ever been on before, you know, I was a three season athlete in high school and I've played summer ball in different leagues and everything for all these different sports. And I just think that MLC softball has a really unique culture of just support and family. Even the people that you might not necessarily get along with the best, they're still your friend when you're walking through the hallway to classes, they still say hi and everything like that. And I just know that these girls are really going to be my best friends for the rest of my life. And I just really have appreciated all of my time as well as my coaches. They've put in so much time and effort into making sure that we do have the culture that we have. And we do a lot of, you know, talk about our culture and talk about our team and how we're gonna work together as a team better. And we have meetings at the beginning, middle and end of each season one-on-one -on -one with our coaches to talk about 
you know, what are our goals? What are we trying to achieve? Is there anything that they can do better? Is there anything that we can do better and things like that? So it's just very become a very collaborative environment where everyone is working towards the same goal and no one is above or below anyone else. Whether you're a captain or a freshman, it doesn't matter. You're a night softball player and that's all that really matters. Yeah, that's really awesome. And I think um, something that we hear a lot from our student athletes is, you know, that support and family aspect has really been important, especially um, this season. So um, maybe tell us, maybe is there a specific memory that kind of sticks out for you or a game or any kind of things that, you know, are really going to be things you take with you or appreciate most? Um. Oof. Well, <laughs> we, I don't know, we've had so many crazy times. There's so many crazy stories that I could tell you, but um, something that's really going to stick with me, it happened this past spring at our spring training trip down in Fort Myers, Florida. We have a member of our team. Her name is Becky Press. She was my roommate for three years as well as she's one of our pitchers. And she, um, she got engaged on our trip. Oh, okay. Her boyfriend... <laughs> Yeah. So her boyfriend just happened to be in Florida for another school trip that was also in Florida. And he worked with her parents to get to our games and there was a whole thing and they got engaged and it was so awesome. It was so great. Well, then we went back to the hotel and I was with her when it happened, but we got back to the hotel and we like walked into her room and it was her, you know, two or three roommates and they all started freaking out. And then the room next to them heard everyone freaking out. So they're like, what's going on? So then they walked over and then they started freaking out. And then someone texted the group chat and was like, everyone come to this room right now. So then it was our whole team. <laughs> And our coaches were there too. And we were all just, you know, having that moment of team. And it was something that was bigger than softball, but it was just one of those moments where it was so cool to be in that environment with everyone and everyone being so happy and excited for someone. And it was, it was kind of a cool moment. And then if I had to pick like a game that's going to really stick with me, it was my freshman year, we were playing Superior and we were tied in the seventh, in the bottom of the seventh inning. And it was three to three. And at that point, I was just pinch running. So, you know, we're tied three to three and all of a sudden my coach throws me in a pinch run on first base. And I think I was like shaking on first base. I was so scared because I was like, man, this is like intense. Like this is a close game <laughs> and I don't mess up. You know, you're a freshman, you don't want to mess up. And the girl who's up to bat, I honestly don't even remember who it was because I think I kind of blacked out for a while. Um, <laughs> She had a really deep ball to left center field. And I just remember being like, you have to get home. Like you have to score because we have to win this game because we are tied. It is an intense game. We are not losing. I don't think I have ever run that fast in my <laughs> entire life. Um, but I ended up making it home and, and we won the game and it was just a super great moment. And they have like a funny picture of our whole team then like ran out on the field. It was so exciting. And I'm like bent over, like trying to breathe. So it, <laughs> It was just a moment like that was so crazy and so fun and that was like one of my first moments that I remember as a freshman playing so I really am going to cherish that memory. That's awesome and really fun that you still remember it so vividly. I think you'll remember you know 10 years from now similar things but I think a lot of the more special things that kind of happen off the field too so thank you for sharing that. Um, Kind of looking forward, so once you finish up, um, have you been placed for your teaching for next year, or what's kind of um, lined up for you once you finish school this year? So I don't have a placement yet. Our school has a series of schools that they place students <laughs> in for teaching jobs. So we find that out on grad on like on graduation after the service so we have our graduation service and then there's like a couple hours in between and then there's another service where they tell us where we're all going so um as a physical education major i have a k-12 to license okay. but i would really like to be teaching in a high school okay. um i've taught all grades from kindergarten through 12th grade <laughs> through my different experiences at MLC and I really enjoyed all of them but I got the opportunity last semester to basically intern I was student teaching at a high school in Wisconsin actually and I just loved it it was so great it was so fun I got the opportunity to coach mm -hmm. um, 
which was a lot of fun and something that I really want to continue to do okay. throughout, you know, my career and everything. And eventually I would like my, my like end goal is to get my doctorate in physical education. So we'll see how long it takes me to get there, but that is my end goal. So we'll see. <laughs> Well, good. That's super ambitious and, um, you know, really important work to be teaching um, young students. So really hope that uh, you end up in a location that you're happy with and can continue to coach. I think it's important for young women to be coaching. So uh, that's really uh, awesome that you're still thinking about doing that moving forward. So I guess uh, kind of like wrapping up now that you're looking back, getting ready to be done with school, what is something either you'd like to share or say to your friends and teammates or advice that you might have for uh, people um, as they, you know, continue on their athletics journey? Just kind of, you know, share some, some knowledge with us. <laughs> um, well, I guess first I'd like to just say thank you, you know, to my teammates, to MLC Athletics. I... Um, worked very closely with all of the athletic teams. I was the assistant to our athletic trainer through mm -hmm. my four years. So I got to work very closely with all of our athletic teams. I got to be with our football team during their playoff runs and different things like that. And, you know, everyone in that environment has just always supported me and always been there for me no matter what. And, you know, if I was talking to someone who was considering whether or not, you know, do I play sports in college? It's a lot of time. It's a lot of, you know, money and effort and everything it is so worth it and just take every advantage of it that you can. It really has taught me so many life lessons beyond even, you know, softball and situations and everything like that. It's taught me time management. It's taught me how to face adversity and it's taught me to really appreciate every moment that you get because I mean, like, like with what's going on right now, you never know when, the last time you're going to see someone or the last time you're going to get to play the last time you're going to get to put your uniform on and just you know really being able to appreciate all of those moments and just never take anything for granted because you know we don't know all of the plans that are going to happen for us they're all planned out for us in advance but we don't get to know all of them and sometimes it's a little frustrating but you know just appreciate it while you have it live in the moment and just love what you're doing because sometimes you're not going to get that opportunity back. Yeah, that's awesome. And I think really good advice, I think, for um, a lot of people in a lot of ways right now. So thank you for sharing that. And thanks for joining us. We wish you the best of luck moving forward and hopefully an exciting moment when you find out where you're going to be teaching. So uh, thanks again, uh, Becca, for joining us. Uh, really appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so much.